suspicious, but I'm not entirely sure it deserves to be set on fire. Now what's this? This is, uh... oh yes, you can you can pray at all of these temples as you find them. I like the fact that these crabs, they're, they're technically enemies of you. They'll come and uh, try and attack you if you, uh, even if you don't touch them. Um, which I always think makes them quite brave, really, considering I'm about ten times the size of them. But, uh... Well, what can you do? I, I can't let them... can't let them live after that insult. I would have rather have stuck to the path, but I don't actually know where the path is. Um... Plus these little detours, they tend to uh, let you sort of, if I get close enough, ow, okay, that's a rat. Never seen a rat in the world before. Uh, if you get close enough, you should see up in the corner a little sound. There we go. That means that I can now teleport to this location whenever I like to. Which is a good thing. Here we have uh, Imperial Legion Soldier. I uh, I usually use them as uh, random people to kill. Uh, which isn't as aggressive as it sounds. But there's a wonderful quest which you can unlock. Uh, which requires killing somebody. Killing an innocent person. And it's honestly the it is the best quest in the game, in my opinion. But the only way to unlock it is by killing some random innocent person. And because most innocent people are uh, required for the plot. This guy's standing still, I've missed him three times in a row now. Four times. There we go. Um, what's that effect up there? Can I see? I appear to have an effect on me that I'm not familiar with. Uh, drain speed, apparently. The guy had poison arrows. That's a bit, uh, a bit strong for a random person I met in the street. Um, I'm a little disappointed that after building it up saying that this place was full of uh, random buildings and caves. I haven't seen one in a while. Um, maybe I should have got a horse. That would have been a little more exciting for you. But... Uh, I suppose I could have killed that soldier and taken his horse. Well, there's a, a building. I I want to say it's a Tevinter structure, but I wouldn't want to try and uh, I wouldn't want to try and understand the lore and history of the Elder Scrolls games. I uh, I'm always very bad at following fantasy stories. I don't get me wrong; they're they're fine stories in themselves, but. Uh, I always get a little confused when you start having dwarves and elves and various other species all fighting for survival together. It's worth noting as well that doing all of this running will mean that uh, I run faster later on in the game. Uh, which will be useful when I'm running from wolves. You know, I would have liked it if these walls looked a little bit more horrible, but they all look so cute. I never really want to kill them. I don't feel like they deserve it. I want to go that way, but I'm going to see what's up here first. I, uh, again, I, I'm not really pretending here. I, 
I don't know what's up that set of stairs. Uh, that's more because Oblivion is huge and trying to remember the exact layout of everywhere is uh, beyond my feeble little mind, I'm afraid. So sometimes I am not pretending I really am as lost as I look. Not that anybody would believe that I was really as lost as I looked. Apparently I found the barren cave. Apparently I'm, I can't actually see a cave. Oh there it is, this cave. Uh, well, it uh, seems to have... Somebody must live here, right? Oh, I'll, uh, I'll do some repairing show that off for a little bit. Um, you get uh, you can acquire these repair hammers which unfortunately are put here with all of the random junk that you usually pick up and basically it's a case of clicking which is at least more interesting than some of the mini games that Bethesda have tried to do, tried to do over the time over the years. I would rather have something be based on how fast I can click than be based on uh, some mini game that I have to do over and over again. Call me crazy. I'll just try and get back to the path now. Um, I don't know if you have played Morrowind uh, either, but presumably because I'm talking to a lot of people at once here. but. Uh, in Morrowind I tend to stick to the path because uh, Morrowind has a lot more cliffs on either side of the path. Um, some people would say that the game is more open. I would disagree simply because the cave, simply because whilst yes you can uh, go anywhere there's no real loading screens or anything. It's, uh, it, you're just surrounded by caves the whole time and uh... not caves, you're surrounded by cliffs the whole time and really there's not much exploration that can happen and I know that Morrowind fans tend to be a bit uh... excitable so I'm sure that they will come and complain to me about how the, cave, the cliffs only exist in the early sections and later on you uh... have completely open areas but that doesn't really help me as somebody who came to Oblivion first um, and I uh, well again what can I say I Oblivion was my first Elder Scrolls game I did go back and play Morrowind um, I will probably do a let's play of that at some point because I do tend to uh, chop and change between these let's plays a lot but, uh... okay this is my favorite town in the game uh, that's simply because this is where the uh, assassin's guild is no other reason other than the fact that it's where the assassin's guild is um... again I'm gonna refer to Morrowind uh, if you have played Morrowind before you will know the Dark Brotherhood who were uh, they were villains in Morrowind they uh, they attacked you and there was no way of joining them they simply had a contract on you what could you do well in this game nobody seems to want you dead that badly so uh, you can join up and become an assassin yourself bit more downloadable content that uh, randomly realized it existed and I'm looking around for the mages guild because oh, let's ask somebody oh, yeah I'm Bazur Grogars I got protection from the Aram gang so don't mess with me or they'll fillet you real good I've never heard somebody be so use the phrase real good and French at the same time. Filet. 
boss, uglies, and shade and all are the Orums. Don't mean nothing to you. You is the outside. Just stay outside, and everything's Mr. Tinker. Got me. I really don't get you. I'm sorry. Stop talking. I, I did stop talking. You waited until I stopped talking to tell me to stop talking. Oh, you crazy fella. Um. And clear. I'm sorry. No one except for Chaden Hall City Guard are allowed inside this home. Due to outstanding fines owed to the city, Aldous Arthuran's property has been seized and is now sealed until further notice. Good day. I was only going to ask ask for directions, and A, you didn't give me directions. Very helpful fella. B, you, uh... You just told me more about this house than I knew when I got here, which I'm pretty sure isn't your job. You're supposed to try and keep people from knowing. Again, never mind, I'm sure you know your business better than I do. By what right do you disturb me? Surely there's a major skills around here. Like I said, magic has never really been my thing. I have joined the Mages Guild before, but it's always been uh, I've always ah, this looks about right. Lots of fancy banners and things. Mages Guild. There we go. How delightful! Welcome. You know, I'm glad that somebody here is polite. Everybody else tells me to stop talking. I'm Alanui. I'm only a conjurer, but Orantur is a full magician. Isn't he wonderful? You look like the bride of Frankenstein, lady. Ever since Ulrich Leyland took over the captain of the guard post, this city's gone downhill. It's getting almost scary to walk the streets. The guards have imposed new, ridiculously heavy fines for every infraction under the sun. They almost seem to make up laws just for charging fines. If you can't pay the fine, they can take your property away or toss you in the castle dungeons. Nothing we can do about it, really. If you're interested, go talk to Levana Nadarin. She seems the most outspoken against Ulrich and his new fines. I, um, can, how can I explain this? Walking the streets is against the law anyway, in most places. It's not really a, uh, something that's special to this place. At the last Imperial Alchemy Symposium, I heard Sindarian mention something about a strange glowing root. I'm afraid I can't remember what he said about that. Perhaps you should make the trip to Skingrad and ask him in person. Maybe I should have gone there instead. Alright, Mages Guild. Tell me about the Mages Guild. Do you consider joining the guild? Yes. Falcar can admit you if you'd like. So can the leader of any of the other local guild halls. Okay, so I'm looking for a guy called Falcar. Good seeing you. How are you? Deestan. Actually, while you're here, I'm going to sell some things. I'm Deetan. Magi- Uh... No, you don't sell things, you train. Pay attention. Another way you, you can, can uh, level up is by training with more well, trainers, to be honest. Um, I've very rarely done that because it's just very expensive, to be honest. Um, but it's, a, it's another option. I tell a lie, I have done it before when... Uh, as I said, probably more times than you care to hear. I uh, good to see you. I've never really done a magic playthrough before, but I have had need to use magic anyway. And in those cases, I have uh, 